So I didn't honestly know what to expect from Raw. With what happened last week with Braun taking the old grappling hook and pulling down the set on top of Kane and Brock Lesnar, I didn't know what was going to happen. But I soon enough got my answer Monday night. Braun Strowman kicks off the show, and it only makes sense, you would seem, like he would kick off the show. Might as well get one of the things people are going to actually be interested in out of the way. So he starts his bleeble blabble and starts talking, and then here comes Kurt Angle. And you get a sense of maybe where this is going. Kurt Angle informs Braun Strowman that he will not be wrestling in the Universal title match at the Royal Rumble. And even more, he's not going to be wrestling anymore because he's fired. So let me get this straight. Roman Reigns can basically try to commit murder with an ambulance. But what Braun Strowman did, that's a fireable offense. So whatever. But it got me to thinking, though. I didn't forget what happened in last week's Raw review. Marcus Smart, how dare you, sir? How dare you? You took credit for what I clearly made possible. I clearly loosened that lid for you. There's no way the Schleg Daddy, hashtag Schleg Daddy Strong, couldn't open that jar. It's called dramatic effect. It's called working the audience. Something that Marcus Smart and none of the guys that he actually roots for would know anything about. And then to come on here and make a fool of the Schleg Daddy and open the jar and not tell the full story, and then to finish off the Raw review? Marcus Smart, I've only got two words for you. You're fired! Imagine the nerve, the gumption, the tiny-sized, marble-sized huevos to think that he could fire me, Marcus Smart. There's no more Mr. Out. There's no more tasteless Tony T. Metal D, marvelous Mark, just magnificent, distant memories. The only thing that keeps this show alive is me! Me! Mark is smart! Me! And the Schleg Daddy wants to fire me? It's because he's a weakling? I'll show him. I'm here to wreck shit until Marcus Smart gets his job back. And you, you, and especially you, Forger Mopes, can't do a damn thing about it. What? What? What do you think you're gonna do, huh? The hell are you looking at, huh? I'll take you all four on! Now I'm hardcore! Now! Marcus Smart needs to leave the property. He doesn't live here. It's unhealthy. Anyways, you're fired. That's all he needs to hear. Titus Worldwide takes on the bar. And for the second week in a row, Titus Worldwide is victorious. I don't really know what's going on. I can't put my finger on it. Where all the hell did they decide to get behind Titus Worldwide? It's one of those things, you know, with the WWE. They will just randomly pick somebody or a group of somebodies and magically get behind them all of a sudden and then quickly drop them like a bad habit. But for now, I guess this is cool. Titus Worldwide wins because Jason Jordan comes out, his music hits, he causes the distraction, and Solid Monster can mark out for the distraction roll-up victory. Fire me! You can't fire me! 
How dare this one, Daddy? I am the Alpha! I am the Omega! I'm this bitch! I, I'll show him. I'll show him. Ah! Now you're on there pretty good! Yeah, stupid thing! Yeah. Ow! Oh, he's a Cubs fan! Give a crap! Oh look! A 2017 calendar! Gone! Sammy Sosa, guess what? He used steroids! He brought me down off the ledge. 
Don't threaten him. He had nothing to do with this. Swear to God, man. Just let him go. That's it. You got your job back. Marcus Smart is back on OTRS Central. So whatever you do, just put Snow Cone down, please. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. You can't get rid of Marcus Smart. That's right. I am OTRS Central. And I told you Snow Cone was about to catch them hands. Let's go have some tuna, yeah. Let's go have some tuna. Oh my god. All right. All right. Snow cone is safe, everybody. And now some of you might be wondering why, after dude did all this stuff to me, why would I sit there and just let him come back? Like I fired the dude and I basically just sent a message that said, if you don't like the decision, go ham, destroy crap, and you'll get your job back. It's almost like, no matter what was said by the authority figure, the employee could do whatever the hell he wanted, and I was just going to bend over and take it in the keister. What's the point? Where's the consequence? Why does any of this matter? And why would anybody care? And that, ladies and gentlemen, exactly, perfectly sums up the first hour of Raw tonight. So let me get this straight. We're going to go with the your fired crap, and not only do we not make it through an entire show, we make it about an hour. Where this dude has destroyed company property, messed with the production trunk, messed with people, innocent people in catering, tipped over a damn however many ton freaking semi, and then to top it all off, he struggles to pick up Michael Cole other than for giving him the freaking atomic wengy, and he sends Michael Cole crowd serving because ultimately, when you're sent crowd serving, that's so traumatic you can't work the rest of the evening apparently. You can't finish out your shit. You gotta take some PTO unscheduled, if you know what I mean. So some of you might have thought this was cool. And the optics of it are not bad. But it comes down to the fundamental problem with WWE's product. Is that there's no consequence to anything. There's no point to anything. Everything is just one gigantic waste of ever-loving massive time. What was the point, other than some cheap thrills, for the first hour of this show, just to have Braun get fired, do all this crap, and absolutely nothing happens to him? There is no punishment. There are no consequences or repercussions. They just let him right back in. And he's back in the title match at Royal Rumble. You can't make this up. Even though, ironically enough, this story clearly belongs in the land of make-believe. I understand it's fake. I understand it's scripted. But every once in a while, can we pretend to be grounded in at least a shred? A shred. A little freaking shred of believability. Because every once in a while, I would like to be able to suspend my disbelief. Bad enough dude's supposed to be lifting up a semi, and he has time to readjust and move his freaking hand. That doesn't look stupid. But you fire a dude, don't have police and security, no one this is a big bad mother hucker that can do all types of crazy crap. He just wander around, he just wanders around and you let him do it, and you let him destroy company property, and then you bring him back? Who writes this shit? Unbelievable. It's simply unbelievable. Wasting our damn time. And I'm sorry, you want to know how lame the WWE can be at times? You want to know how lame? Well, I'll tell you how lame it is. You got a team like the Revival. Oh my God, miracles can happen. Both of them are healthy for a change. Feature that. And they did something serious. They violated one of Vince's golden rules. They committed a cardinal sin. What was that? Did they whip out their tally whacker on television? No. Did they talk about how muscles aren't important? Hell no! 
They said one of the dirtiest words in the WWE dictionary, people. They said professional wrestling. Ah! Professional wrestling. And we celebrate it like this is something scandalous, something evil, something malicious, something oh so temptingly naughty. Like seriously. That's what it takes to entertain us now. Is somebody uttering the word wrestling on a wrestling show? Hopefully these guys stick because at least they're different. They're not flippy kicky dudes. They're kind of our old school. They love them to the shtick. I'm sure somebody's going to make them look stupid on the 25th anniversary of Raw next week. Who cares? Maybe we can all have a segment where everybody just hurls the word wrestling back and forth. I'll put asses in the seats. The time's almost come. <laughs> yeah. That was the eve of 25 years of Raw. And soon you will see the greatest character of them all. Yeah. <laughs> Some will think I'm crazy, and I think that's just me. <laughs> Better buckle up, bitches, because the, everybody is obsolete. Yes, yes. <laughs> Come next week on the Raw Review, you'll see. Finally, the one, the only, the shattered, yes, Schleg Daddy. <laughs> oh, oh, Shattered Schleg Daddy. Yeah, yes, yes. I still can't believe what that dude did. I mean, he didn't even finish the job. That's typical. Probably does the same thing when he's showing himself his hands. He comes up just a little short. That's the rumor. That's the rumor. Anyways, moving on. What else happened on Raw? We got a chance to walk with Elias. Cool. Roman Reigns blows through the Miz Taraj. But next week, next week, it's going to be Roman Reigns defending the IC title against the Miz. I bet it's going to have an awesome finish. Wait, hold on. What? 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 Yeah, put it over there. What is it? It's for Roman. Summer! Stop having Roman's B12 shots delivered here. You have to tell that damn dog. His B12 shots. That's right, people. His B12 shots. What else? Sasha Banks and Sonya Deville. How the hell you say your name? Who gives a crap? <laughs> Sasha lost to the green ass girl. <laughs> Hercules, Hercules, lose a little more hair. Hercules. She's about to get her ass buried. And honestly, good. Time to put her down at the bottom of the rotation for a little while. Well, thank you. Woken Matt Hardy beat Heath Slater. And the most notable thing of all here is there was no Bray Wyatt. That, ladies and gentlemen, that is reason to celebrate. Because with Bray Wyatt, I think all of us can agree at this point in time, we want to delete, 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 delete. delete. Surprise to nobody because the rumor's been out there for weeks. It was announced earlier on on Monday. The headliner of the 2018 WWE Hall of Fame class is Goldberg. Boom, boom, boom. Goldberg. Boom, boom, boom. Cool. It's kind of a weird thing because, you know, similar to Sting, you, we, we just had seen him and then he's going right into the Hall of Fame. Cool. Whatever. I appreciate Goldberg's career. I was always kind of a fan. And I did enjoy his swan song run in WWE. I did. And I wouldn't be that mad 
if he came back for just one more match. You can do it, Bill. One more match. One more match. One more match. As we all know, Jason Jordan wanted to make sure his partner, his fellow tag team champion, Seth Rollins, is staying on top of his game. And you, you, you wonder, are we going with a full Jordan heel turn, or could we be teasing a double heel turn by both him and Rollins? <laughs> yes! Wonderful! <laughs> Anyways, your main event of Raw, Finn Balor versus Seth Rollins. <laughs> uh, what? Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, Finn Balor, Seth Rollins, that's right. Uh, I'll try to fight through. I know a lot of you probably enjoyed this match. Fine, whatever. But as the match is going along, you get that one sequence and everybody knows what the hell I'm talking about. It really started to get bizarre here. Was that supposed to be a three count or not? I legitimately don't know. I don't know if anybody involved with the match based off of the look they had and kind of that awkward pause that they had when it seems like everybody forgot their shit and everybody screwed up. Nobody else knew either. So at least we were all on the same page here. But what's really frustrating about this is for the first time in what, almost three damn years, the curb stop is back. The curb stop. What do they call it? The black hole? Whatever the hell they call it. The bottom line is, the curb stomp is back. The curb stop, for Christ's sakes, trended on Twitter for a couple of hours after Raw. Worldwide in this bitch. The curb stop. And what did the announcers think about this? What did the announcers have to say? Nothing. This move that was banned, that hasn't been used for almost three damn years... And we act like it's just another move. It's not just another move, God damn it! How hard can it be as a commentary team to show some God bless of emotion? How hard can it be to pretend like this stuff is consequential, that it matters that we're supposed to care, or that you damn care? How hard can it possibly be? I don't care if you have that wannabe football fetish butt boy in the back jerking off the WBF videos, Vince McMahon yelling in your ear. This is a big damn deal. The freaking move trended on Twitter for hours after Raw. And your commentators, the always hated Booker T, the even more lame than Michael Cole, Tom Phillips, and the weird, goofy-looking suck fest that is Corey Graves has as much business as a commentator on Raw as I do. They act like it's just another room. Just another room! She ain't been back in almost three years. And even when she hit it, it looked like Finn Balor was fucked up. How hard is it to show some emotion, some passion, some fire, some freaking energy level? This is ridiculous! Almost as ridiculous as once the finish happened, Finn Balor and the Balor Club are just standing there, Finn's looking all dazed like he's freaking concussed. And then we just stand there. And we stand there. And we stand there. And you'll notice at this point time I should have already wrapped up the segment, but just like Raw, after the match, they didn't know what the hell they were doing. They just stood there. This shit was weird. And how to grossly undersell something that hadn't been used in almost three damn years. Unbelievable. Well, at least you know when you come here, when you need emotion, when emotion and energy and fire is called for, you're going to get it, bitches. Because I'm the slug daddy, damn it. And this is OTRS Central. Volume check, one, two, one, two, dicklicks, how's that sound? I'm one of those lame ass WWE apologists. I'm one of those spot monkey suck off artists. I'm the real freaking deal. And always remember, especially now, more than ever, OTRS.
Central is not the wrestling show you want, just the wrestling show you need. Now get out there, tell people to watch this damn video, subscribe if you haven't before, and go to the OTRS Central store at Pro Wrestling Tees and buy the damn shirt. I'm out of here, I'm done.